we all know what this is. And most of us know what this is. But do we know how well the game compares to the movie? My name is Sledge, and today we are going to be taking a brief look on just how much of the Starship Troopers extermination game matches the movie. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the game, and put a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Now before we start, I'm going to say I'm only looking at the first movie, Starship Troopers 1997. Because I'm going to just pretend that the next two don't exist, because they shouldn't. Now back to the comparison. First, I want to look at the world that this movie and game exist in. The movie gave us this place that is a militaristic utopia, and whatever this is. But I feel the game did a good job of keeping that atmosphere going, to really make us feel like we are in that universe. Starship Troopers is full of imagery and propaganda that follows the same theme over and over. It is everywhere. Flags flown on every building, and there is a Federation Eagle to match. While you're playing, you can look around and see that this remains the same. All the same imagery from the movie is in the game, to remind us just what world we are exploring and fighting inside of. The game also does great by showing us a newsreel before every game, which is something that took clear inspiration from the movie. Next, we are going to be looking at the mobile infantry troopers themselves. All of the chest armor that the troopers wear in-game, even though they may have some armor added onto it, are exactly the same as the ones that Rico and the Roughnecks wear. If you take the orange visor off the helmet in the game, it's pretty much the same thing as this one. Both the game and movie also have male and female troopers, so that is also the same. The three main rifles used in Starship Troopers 1997 are modeled exactly the same, except in game, we don't have an underbarrel shotgun. The Morita Mark I, the Carbine, and the Hawkeye. For our final comparison, we are looking at the best part of the movie, the bugs. They were so awesome in that first movie. They were overwhelming and numerous, and extremely hard to kill. They were also extremely deadly, able to easily cut down any trooper in their way. But how do they compare to the bugs in the game? They are well modeled and animated, and we definitely know for sure that we are fighting the same bugs that Rico did. They move in groups of great numbers, all attack together, and they never hold back. They instill the same panic that we imagine the troopers felt when they had to retreat Planet K. Nobody runs faster than a trooper when he hears the extraction ship has arrived. And in-game, the bugs are still tough as hell, taking almost a full magazine of ammo to kill them. The Grenadiers are smaller in-game, but the plasma they shoot is still the same blue ball. The game, however, gives us two new bugs, the Gunner and the Tiger. Although these two are great additions to the bug lineup, and they feel like they belong in this world. This was a short video for one that should have been longer, but my real life schedule keeps me busy. I truly appreciate everyone who watched. And I also want to thank those 12 of you who have subscribed to my channel. It makes doing these videos completely worth it, and I truly appreciate you. Subscribe to my channel for more Starship Troopers content, and I'll see you in the next one.